I removed the workings from this inexpensive toy RC boat and I used the controller and the RC components and built my own RC magnetic boat. Here is the RC magnetic boat and the controller and it's pretty cool because it can be recharged and it's radio control and has a decent range and this is just a magnet boat and that's the North Pole and that's the South Pole I added a few magnets to it and it's all taped together and held together with some putty and some double-sided tape that's the uh, original battery that's the original on off switch and that's the original charging port and that's the original servo and all the wires are connected all I did was to uh, cut the wires to the motor so I removed the motor so this entire boat weighs about four and a half ounces well actually the aluminum pan version weighs about 10 or 11 ounces but the workings of the boat without the aluminum pan is only like four ounces so now you can see this boat has a fin on it right and the fin pushes against the water when the boat turns and the magnet makes the boat turn north right so that direction is north so the magnet is going to make the boat turn north and if I turn the magnet either direction it turns it's going to make the whole boat turn to point north so that the magnet turns north the magnet is going to draw the boat to turn turn accordingly so the magnet turns north when the magnet turns well the boat is the front of the boat is pointing north and the fin is pointing south when the magnet turns from the servo turning that will make the boat turn and push the fin The fin will then propel the boat to, we hope, a top speed of approximately 5 to 8 inches per minute. Now the thing about a compass and why it works so well is that turning a magnet against another magnet is a factor of three or power of three or to the third power more powerful than attracting a magnet to another magnet so while the earth's magnetic field as we all know is very weak in attracting a magnet so if i pointed that to the north pole and just let it sit there it won't move at all because the power is so weak the attraction between the earth's magnet and the magnet in the boat is so weak but the power to turn the magnet is a factor of three or the exponent three more than the power to attract so it will easily turn that boat and that's not really a big magnet comparison to the boat that magnet only weighs maybe an ounce. So we're getting up to top speed here, I guess. Maybe only about five inches a minute. And this magnet won't make the boat go in every direction because the servo can only turn a certain amount of degrees so the boat can only go north 
If I take the magnet on in the opposite direction, the boat could only go south. If I had a magnet that could rotate 360 degrees, the boat could go in any direction. Now the fin makes this an easy concept to understand. The, the boat turns and the fin pushes against the water. I want YouTube people to try and understand that. Because as we all know, YouTube people are a little bit dense. I'm only kidding about that. But we should understand that it is pretty hard concept to get your mind around that a magnet can propel a small boat. This is not in any way a trick or a magic trick or a deception or free energy or uh, whatever they call it under unity or something like that. This is nothing like that. This is an actual experiment with a magnetic boat. So thank you for watching.